Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery and I'm looking around for my glasses and there they are, that's cool. So this is one of my postcards that when you purchase a painting, which reminds me I do sell my artwork, the email is under the video if you want to get a hold of me um, for any reason. I do have classes at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. And I wanted to make sure you guys know if you watch the videos longer, you help my placement on YouTube. And every single month there is a drawing for uh, whoever wins the drawing gets a choice this month of 15 of those artworks. You get to keep three of them. So check for PayPal and Patreon under the video and on the channel header. So this is my little crib sheet because the other one blew away and got all schmutzy. This is an 8x8 canvas, 8x8x2 gallery wrap canvas and I keep seeing people do these slip cups there it goes um, with the bloom technique paints and I have a bunch of it mixed up so I might as well do it also uh, Janet left her left her tax the other day and I heated one up with my torch and melted hole in the bottom so I'm gonna rest that in another receptacle and then I'm going to start my my experiment by cleaning mm, by removing the plug in the top of that and I'm going to use my cell activator in the bottom of the cup because it's going to be first and the one the color that works the best is that golden product that's a magenta and then another golden product is the carbon black and I have some folk art It looks magenta, but it's it's really very purple, <laughs> usually. In any case, I shook it, and I'm going to continue to use whatever seems to be... This was a golden iridescent. I can't wait to see how this turns out. It can't be bad, because the colors are great. I'm going to give things a little bit of a shake, which is probably not kosher, but... I do torch. You're not necessarily supposed to torch with blooms, but I do torch. I'm going to keep trying to use colors I love. And it's very windy out here, so anything could happen and fly by at any moment. Which is one reason I'm using the bottom of a pan <laughs> that got separated a long time ago as a weight. And uh, hopefully things won't fly too far away. I think that's the same blue. Yes, it is. I'm going to for those. I've got some turquoise. I'm not not used to doing flip cups of any kind, but I used to do a lot of them. I did, oh, I don't know, hundreds of them. And here's the mango from Primary Elements. And I think I'm going to give myself some green, too. This is a green gold from Folk Art. I love how the Folk Art color shifts work with the bloom recipe and I love how the folk art color shifts work with any recipe so I do have a little bit of latex semi-gloss black paint left and I want to have enough but I don't really want to have too much I've got something to pour off onto and I've got edge catchers handy which are a good place for me to pour off onto and then I can just pick it up if I want to with my uh, spatula. My Oxo omelet turning spatula. Yes, you can find these amazing paint spreading tools below. Show more underneath the video. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to spread a little bit of that right out to the corner right now so I don't have any gaps. You can make a little go so far. You don't really want to see any canvas with most pouring. Although Floetrol is a leveler, so it's going to make sure that it levels out whatever paint you put down so much so that you will probably always see some canvas. But in, alternatively, I like to use heavy paint, <laughs> and that's why I use GAC 800 by Golden, because it prevents cracking in heavier paint. All right, so I've got a good puddle. I'm going to wipe off my spatula or drop it in the bucket so I can... Why don't we do both? So I have that handy. And here goes nothing. Hopefully this is going to work. That should be interesting. So in spite of the fact that I don't really want to press that down all the way, I did because I want to be able to have that air hole to release the paint. 
I don't think I'm ever going to release all that paint. I wanted a much smaller container. Things that go on spray bottles, like in your kitchen, those little tiny, tiny things, I think that would make a great little flip cup. And I had a couple around here, but everything has moved recently when I cleaned up, which is pretty much par for the course. All right, here goes nothing. I got a seal going. So, what do I do? Do I put a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula in there? Let's see what I can get out and put it down nearby because I can. Hey, that's the name of my first book on the Amazon link below show more. It's a blue link. If you're looking for it, you'll find it. Also, you guys ought to know I have 1,200 videos. And uh, if you check on my channel, you'll, you won't just find PayPal and Patreon on the channel header where if you want to get into the monthly drawing, it's a $10 minimum. I might have forgotten to mention that. But um, you can find a lot, a lot of videos in creative playlists. So I'm not sure. I've got cells. I can see cells. She sells she's seashells by the seashore. Um, I'm taking a little bit of a risk. I know that cell activator is in there. Those cells are a little fuzzy. I'm not really hating that. I really didn't want, I've seen a huge abundance of paint used to do these. And for me, it was more important to find out if I could use a whole lot less. I'm gonna bring my little container over if I can find it. Why don't I just use whatever's handy? Sands the sand. There we go, that'll work. I can still scoop some of that out if I want with my with my spatula. I'm going to try and keep spreading this out and if it doesn't look like it's going to do anything for me then I'm probably going to um, go ahead and add some more cell activator. But I'd really like to see if this can happen. And there really is enough paint in that puddle to spread things out. And I always seem to use too much paint. I'm also going to use my little Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatula to spread that dripped over paint right down on the edge because I can and it seems like a good way not to waste it because a lot of it pours right away it's not a hot day out here it's kind of breezy it's kind of extremely breezy hopefully nothing blows into the artwork I suppose if I wanted to I could probably add another bloom to this I am, if you notice, I'm trying to sort of contain the paint that's dripping down and not lose too much of it. Just going to put that right back on there. And then I'm, I'm still very tempted to blow into this and use some... Uh... Yeah, my finger's a great tool. <laughs> and I'm just going to keep using it. I do have some lacy cells, but... Um... Probably if I'd have filled that whole cup up, I would have had something even more interesting. And you know, it's not impossible that I could still put more paint into that cup. Especially some of the bright magenta that I didn't use nearly enough of, I think. For sure. Whatever goes in first comes out last. So that's high on my list of things I might want to do. That's um, not overly attractive in my mind, but you guys know me and I don't give up easily. I'm just going to spread the rest of that paint down over the edge and hope that it decides that it will cooperate. I do have some, some cohesive stuff going on, but not a lot. And that is not attractive. Where did I put my container? Right behind me? No? Okay. Not here, not there. There it is. Okay, so I'm going to stuff the tack back in there again. Rest it in my cream pitcher. And this time I'm going to start with a little bit of black activator. Which I probably should shake up. And I've got another one in here. Maybe I'll just use both of them. Alright, so what I've got is magenta from Golden, I believe. It could be a primary elements too. So I'm going to use a whole bunch of that. 
because I can. And I've got white mica powder, very pearlescent, and I didn't use any of that. I just want to dribble it all over the place. It's already so much more paint than I'm used to doing with the blooms. It makes it hard to decide what I should do, I think. I'm just going to tip again. Pull out my tack. Now that looks like it really ought to be enough paint, you know? And what could I put in there that would cause cell activation? There we go. This is a cell activator too. So let's just swivel that around. The wind is so strong it was fighting my blowing into my artwork. Well, that's a lot more interesting than it was. I'm going to get some painty fingers. I'm going to probably pick up my cottage cheese lids with my canvas. I can see a few bubbles. So I'm really not getting a lot of cells yet. Refuse to give up. And this magenta. I need some black under that. This usually works, but if it doesn't, I'll just keep playing. That's a whole lot better. And I think what I want is some gold, but I better open it first. And anything I use right now is potentially going to blow away, so... getting called to some blue down here in this corner and I'm not sure if that's even a good idea. Based on the fact that I have no pillow paint, I think I could probably... You know what? I have some pillow paint. Right here. I see some cells. <laughs> They're there. I've just recently discovered that I can actually stick my skewer in and get away with adding some interest. You've got to tip those cut its cheese lids off, or tip the canvas to get them off. I kind of want to take whatever I can get off of this and either put it on the sides or put it right back into the artwork. I got two minutes left and I'm not feeling overly successful right now. I'm going to blow that into place. I'm going to think all bets might be off. I don't remember putting any orange in there. And whatever I had in there definitely needed to be shaken. So first things first, I'm going to tip that like I would if it were just normally poured. And then I'm going to blow on it. <laughs> the 
as I can. And I'm going to say I like that a whole lot better right now. Always got to remember all of the fluid, all of the uh, the Bloom Art paints are thick enough so that if you're not careful, you'll always wind up getting a little trail where you may or may not want one. All right, so I'm a whole lot happier with that right now, and I'm getting happier still, and I'm not sure where it's going to stop, but uh, you're going to be gone at some point in time. So I should tell you guys I do sell my artwork. I do teach classes at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. If you look under the video, you'll find Teespring clothing with all over print t-shirts and leggings on it. Any shopping you happen to do, including on the Amazon link, helps me out and I appreciate it. That was kind of a weird thing to do, but I kind of like it. I've got two minutes left to tell you guys whatever I'm going to tell you, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to make this into something worth seeing before then, because it's not, blooms are not usually a two-stage process. Still not giving up. Sometimes it only takes just one more color. That could be the color too. I actually really like that right at this moment. I'm so surprised I can't even tell you. I have some bloom cells. But I got some great texture. I got the paint, I might as well use it. There, I finally did it. I stole some paint and it's overdue, way overdue to try that. I should torch and you guys will be gone shortly-ish. I put that crib sheet down right there. Um, I have Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group for students, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery totes and more for anybody wanting to see what I've been posting on Point Art America since 2013. What else? What else? Subscribe. Uh, if you subscribe, you're being helpful and uh, you might enjoy the 1200 videos you can find on my channel. Or you can see on the community board what what videos I'm going to post tomorrow. Uh, also on Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group. Yeah, there's nothing to keep me from making paint go where I want it to and I like a lot of things about this now. I'm not completely sure that I'm absolutely done. And it's very rainbow-like, as per usual. But I am enjoying using my skewer and proving to myself that it's, it's okay to do that. I wonder what's going to happen when I torch. Um, because I Can is the name of my first book, and it's on the Amazon link. Uh, Unlimited Possibilities is the name of my second book, right next to the first one. If you're interested in anything on the Amazon link, you can shop there at no added cost to you and it helps me out. I got a little lacing, not much, but I'm not a canvas scraper, so 